Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Driving Range. We have a letter that came in from Pondelli Apesos. And he says, Dear Serge, I hit my irons in fairway woods off the deck fairly well. Off the deck, for many of you will know that that means off the ground. The driver off the tee is another story. My ball flight is a U-shaped and sits soft. I am not popping up the ball. I need to get a boring trajectory so that it can run a little. I tried choking down on the driver, different lofts, shorter driver. The results are still the same. Any suggestions? Absolutely, I have suggestions. Okay, uh, I guess I hope I'm saying this right, Pondelli. And so, uh, I think the number one, one, number one suggestion, especially with your, uh, with your driver, could be uh, a situation of the big A alignment and or very likely ball position okay now naturally what we want to do is is with the driver especially using the peak performance golf swing setup all right we want to have the driver somewhat off the left heel but we get a very we get a very unique misinterpretation of that because let's say I'm standing here with the conventional stance where the feet are dead, dead, dead straight as compared to the 30 degree uh, flare that we ask in the, in, the, in the peak performance swing alright so if I'm here so if I was to I feel like it's, it, it's, it's off my instep up here well if I open my feet and then move the ball up off my instep I would be more like over here straight into here so that would have the ball quite forward too far forward now, in perfect alignment, ball position itself can, can actually make a change in the alignment. Say I'm, I'm still here perfectly parallel left, toes, knees, hips, shoulders, and eyes, but if my ball is too far forward, I am effectively aimed left because at the bottom of my arc of my swing should be right about there. So by the time I hit the ball here, the, the club should be either already somewhat released which means if I hit it at that point I very likely will have a slightly closed club face so the ball should start left of my line and very likely go if it stays straight it's going to go stay staying straight left and if it's over released a little too much it'll put right to left spin on it and make it start left and even move more left and could hook pretty hard all right now a lot of cases what's going to start happening from that is that once the ball started left from that position the tendency is to hold on a little bit longer and keep it and keep it try to keep it square but at that point by the time it's there it's already slightly if it's far enough forward two three four inches that club is already coming start, slightly starting to come inside the line a little bit going into the forward mitt but you're holding on to it so and very likely holding on and sh meaning that you're holding on your shoulders are very likely turning and, and, and a little bit to the left too soon or at least finally turning there and, and you're holding on you're getting a shaft lean way too far ahead of it and the face could actually still be opening up more at impact and the ball sliding more across the face which could start it anywhere from slightly left of the ball of the aiming line to on it or even start it right with the ball and with a, with a driver face being being very relatively flat any type of cutting across the line the ball's rolling across the face is going to get more spy, side spin left to right so wherever it starts it's going to start there and then eventually move to the right and 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 the, the later the more too far up it is and the later you hit it the more it's going to slice across the ball and it might even at that point because it's coming inside start out a little bit more towards the toe and the face is staying open the ball's just going to slide across quicker the hit because it misses the sweet spot the hit's going to be less less of the sweet spot which means it's not going to be a solid hit it's going to go less far and, and slice more because it's rotating more all right and so i think that that's where uh i got to go with the fact that that's what's happening to you your ball i'm guessing is probably way too far forward on the other side of the coin if a ball was too far back in our stance say it's here and now we got the ball back here and i'm hitting it too soon that could also that could also be what that now effectively is, has me aiming right, which now means that, that I can effectively be hitting it relatively solid and relatively straight to the right, and the farther back it is, the more right it's going to be. And at some point in time, if my body's too far ahead, I'll be hitting it with the face not square yet, and it'll start right and slice even worse. Okay? So it could be too forward, could be too back. 
Another one that could cause it if it's too back is, is if the ball is too far back and, 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 and you're trying to come back to, to get a more solid hit and our reverse weight shifting a little bit, you could be hitting it solid, but in that point in time, your club, your hands are behind the ball, the club's popping in this way, very likely adding loft, and that's where it is. You're not popping it up, but you're hitting it high and it's not boring and penetrating enough. So I gotta believe it's, it's an issue somewhere between alignment and or bad ball position. And it could be, it could be too forward or too back. So we always want, when we walk in, I always walk into the ball, I put my hands down with my, with, my, with my bottom right hand, the bottom hand, the right hand, the thumb I feel is always square to the ball, which means I got a slight forward shaft lean, and my shaft is pointing somewhere towards my left hip, and I'm in that position, that, that ensures me that when I stop my takeaway, and I feel like, and I feel like when I, my, body, my upper body starts to turn back, my right hip and right shoulder starts to turn, but I always want to feel that the club head moves first, that means if the club head moves, I got the feeling of moving first with the toe, going back in toe up so the face is slightly opening up it's it because of the, pro, the rotation of the forearms in the in the backswing up to there the head's moving first so that that means the head starts first and it's leading all the way back so when I start my downswing the hands are leading I got a good what we call timing the proper sequential movement of the parts of the body but if you got that ball too far forward and your shaft is actually behind the ball and, and very likely maybe pointing back towards your, towards your belt buckle. Now you, you could be starting with your hands in the club the same, or you have an over-rotate, which could over-rotate, which could send you too flat, far, and inside too. So it can start, it can be creating a myriad of problems here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bet that we've got alignment issues. Either your body is definitely out of alignment, and or if you're perfectly straight, your ball position is off, and that's what's going to be causing this whole myriad of problems. So you want to get in there, have this position, and know that that off the heel means straight in from the heel with our flared feet. It's not off the instep. That would be way too far forward. And, and if you've if you're, if you're got your feet a little too far forward and that ball is getting back here closer to the middle, that's another issue, the ball being too far back. And it can still have all the same repercussions depending on how your compensatory moves start working to try to hit the ball straight. Okay, so alignment, ball position are critical to hitting the ball solid and straight to control your ball flight, to control your direction. Hit it more solid and straight, hits it, and when you hit it where you want to go, if you aim it correctly, the ball goes there, and that's how you control your golf ball, keep it in play, hit more fairways and greens, and shoot those lower scores. That's it for the search for today on really checking your ball position. It's critical in the, in the alignment scheme, and with that, that's it for today, and I'll be talking to you all again soon.